in 1979, uh, I made animated logo, which every European knows what's Eurovision logo. It was a circle of 12 bursts, like stars, with letters Eurovision. Today, everyone thinks that Eurovision is Eurovision Song Contest. No, no, no. Eurovision is a logo of EBU. They did so many things, mainly sports, entertainment, and music. So, in 1979, there was a sports event in uh, Split in Croatia, for which I animated logo. I'm mentioning this because this was first time ever that Eurovision logo was animated. It was always on the still, it was still image on the slide. Uh, and uh, the switching programs between uh, stations internationally, they had that still image. And that still image was easy to cut whenever someone uh, got uh, ready to, to join and then they started. Now imagine the headache, the frustration, Zagreb is uh, running animated logo. So there is no sitting still image to which you can cut whenever you want. No, no, no. You got a clock on the wall. You got information that when arm comes to 12, you got to push whatever uh, you are doing there. If not, you, you are missing animation. So that was a new approach, which uh, uh, people in, in in that field of broadcast uh, felt too comfortable not to go not to advance to animation but once when when i made first step every station uh, they started to do animation they competed which animation is you know smarter better more interesting and since then uh, logo is always animated <laughs> Great story, you know. <laughs> Thanks a lot for for sharing that.